welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are new here hi my name is Lisa and if you are not new thank you for tuning back in so guys um my family and I we lived in Rocky Crest for like um, I don't know since I was I was in grade 2 till I was grade 7 when I was like grade 8 we started moving around we rented um, rooms you know beta cameras and all that so we we're moving a lot we we're really moving a lot and there was a time we moved to Hagana and we moved into the flats that were in front of Moses Garrett primary school those yellow flats I don't know if they changed the color now but we moved into those flats I think I was grade 8 or grade 9 one of the two so then um, I was like home alone everybody was like gone and was home alone I came from school did my homework everything ate everything and I cleaned yes I'm busy with a video no not just talk so I finished cleaning and I was like in the living room listening to music on my phone and um, I think I was painting my toenails or something because I had like I had like um, nail polish on this on this little dining table there so um, and the door um, to the living room was like a bit open like slightly open and like you can tell I can tell that if somebody's trying to peep in to looking into the house so I could tell but the person outside could not really see inside so they had to like squeak their eyes and what uh, squeak their eyes <laughs> They had to like you know whatever do this to their eyes um our flat was directly in front of the main gate so like the moment you entered you would like see our flat plus the other that was next to us and the door as you entered it went directly um into the living room so as you entered in inside the house you uh, you would enter the living room and then like on your left you would find the rooms and the toilet and then on your right as you turn like this you will find the kitchen so I was there like listening to music doing my nails and all that and back then I was like a huge Beyonce fan so I was there like I was like you know in my zone dancing feeling my music you know I was listening to the music on my phone like directly through the speaker and then I'm like I'm sitting I'm seeing this guy trying to trying to peep into the house I'm like okay okay let me just like go and ask what the person wants so I come there at the door I'm like hi can I help you what can I help you with and all that and then he's like Oh hi, I'm the plumber and I'm here to fix what? There's a leakage um, with the other residents, with the other ten tenants um, behind. So I just came here to like check if you guys have a leakage. And I wasn't really like outdoors that much. So I didn't really know the other tenants that lived like behind us or even next door. I, I, I really didn't know them. So I was like, okay, maybe this guy is legit. So I let him in and he comes in he i leave him to the toilet and he's there like flushing the toilet and he's like go behind i mean he's like go go outside and see if the geezer is leaking hmm. all right so i'm like okay cool i go i pass through the living room go through the kitchen i go outside i check the the geezer if, if it's leaking while he's busy flushing and mind you i left my phone on the table in the living room it's still playing music so it's like legit right there so he's there like flushing is it leaking and I'm like no he flushed is it leaking I'm like no and like the third time or the fourth time he 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 goes quiet and I'm like okay why is the guy quiet now and I'm like literally talking to myself and then next thing I hear my music on my phone is like fading away like you can just tell like somebody maybe took the phone and like walking away you can like tell the music is far so when I notice that my music is like fading and it's far and my phone is far 
I literally like ran. I <laughs> ran through the kitchen I ran through the living room outside found him almost outside of the whole yard so I get there in front of him I'm like my phone and he's like what I'm like my phone that you took bring it back and then like at that moment there like the phone during that time the phone was literally still playing music so so I could like I could hear the music play and obviously he could hear the music play so he couldn't like be there and say like um he doesn't have the phone or deny and you know so I was like literally like there my phone and he gave me the phone and when he gave me the phone I went inside the house I locked the house later on that day um, my Zali came, Topi came, and <clears throat> I don't know. Then I told him, I told them about the the whole situation because my little sister she went out to play. She was with her friends. So I'm telling my mom, this guy came into the house. He took my phone. He said he's here to clean, um, to to fix the the toilet. It's leaking. What? What? And I'm like literally there crying, bawling my eyes out. I'm like, he came inside the house and he took my phone and my mom is like literally angry my mom is really angry like she's like going off on off my on my little sister she's like why did you go why did you leave Suko alone <laughs> and that's like the whole funny part of the whole story like I don't know <laughs> she had like my little sister had no fault like I'm the I'm the eldest one so I was supposed to be responsible and not let this guy inside the house but no my mom was like angry on my little sister she left me alone what 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 and I'm just like you know they're crying I'm, it's so funny <laughs> it's so so funny but anyways so then like days pass and my mom and I that time we were attending um, we were attending Universal Church the one in town and and in that location they had like a mini bus that drove around drove around and was like picking up members of members of um the church or even anybody that decided they wanted to visit the church so we were like standing at the four way so like at the four way there's like this bar you know there's like this bar there and like at the bar there's like a street that goes like down downhill so we're standing there at the foyer and as we're standing I'm, I'm like looking down the street I see this guy walking up and I'm like okay it's just some ordinary guy <clears throat> and then the moment this guy comes close near the moment he comes close by I notice that it was the guy that robbed me <laughs> so I'm like literally looking at him like and he's there looking at me like like smirking like <laughs> he's literally smirking like he wanted to laugh so i'm like telling my mom that's the guy that robbed me the other day and my mom is just like oh okay well it's fine it's and she just like brushed it off and we went to church the bus came and went to church and then from there on like nothing really happened nobody really came to the house claiming they are what that's my little story on how i demanded my robber <laughs> I think the reason why I cried was like I think I was amazed and I was so um, shocked that that guy didn't do anything to me because I was alone first of all I didn't know him he probably might have had a knife or even a pen he would have stabbed me the moment I confronted him he would have done something to me but he didn't he gave me the phone and he walked away so I was like really um, grateful that God that God kept me safe during that moment so yeah so that's my little story I hope you enjoyed it I hope it entertained you in some way because <laughs> to me it was the, it's the funniest story ever if you didn't subscribe you can go ahead and subscribe now it's, it's not too late and see you guys in my next video <laughs> thank you guys for watching eh? bye